right has been a lot in the gay media this week about like no fats, no fems, malarkey. Uh, and again, this has been used as another tool to bash masculine gay men yet again. It is getting really fucking boring now. It is really, really fucking boring, you know. Not all of us masculine gay men are fucking assholes, you know. Um, and I'm sure there's plenty of camp guys who say no fats. Um, no ugly guys know this. I'm pre pretty sure there's plenty of fat guys that say no femme guys, you know, and stuff like that. So please stop blaming and oppressing and criticizing and judges judging and having a go at us fucking masculine guys you know it's getting really boring we're not all cunts we're not all fucking assholes you know it's annoying really annoying all you are doing is you are pandering to the stereotypes that people have about us in regards to that gay men can only be particular things and it's boring. And I will also, I will add this, okay? Now, if you're a guy who goes to the gym, spends money on a gym membership, time in the gym, puts effort into going to the gym and building his body up, if he pays money or supplements in order to build that body up, because building that muscle isn't easy you know you need to have more calories coming in you need more carbs coming in you need more protein coming in if you work it's a very difficult thing to do so you have to put a lot of effort into it a lot of time into it and you pay money for it as well yeah so if you do all of that putting all that time all that effort all that money all that energy into improving your body and making yourself musclier fitter etc would you really be compatible with a guy who doesn't do that and that's not a judgment yeah and most guys who spend all that time and effort in the gym do so because they want to attract other guys who do that because they have common interests and common goals in life it's not that they're judging or they're saying that fat or femme guys are inferior. That's just a different alternative point of view. Now the problem is, is that far too many gay men are self-entitled, self-obsessed cunts, basically. They believe the world revolves around them. They believe they're entitled to have sex any man they want to and that if a man doesn't fancy hit them then that man must be a cunt and a wanker and an asshole. you know um, this is really silly and immature you know <laughs> again it panders to a stereotype right? we're all just about sex and shagging and fucking each other and all that which is really fucking boring you know and for someone like me who has mental health problems and anxieties, ADHD, etc. It just adds to our fucking trauma in our life. You know, we just feel even worse about ourselves, even though all we're trying to do, all I'm trying to do, is go about my life and live as as, as decent, decently and, and as, as honestly and as authentically as I can without feeling that I'm judged because I don't want to have sex with a guy because he happens to be effeminate or fat. Um, or I'm, I'm not attracted to him. I don't want to feel bad about that. I'm sick of all this. I'm sick of my brothers who are more masculine orientated being oppressed and um, demonized and criticized like this. And before I get, because I know I'll get comments, I'll get comments from people who haven't even bothered to listen to what I'm fucking saying like I have before. It isn't wrong to reject people nastily. It isn't wrong. It is wrong to be 
down against people because of their weight, because of how they look, because they may or may not be effeminate or camp or whatever. It's wrong to demigrate men like that. It really is wrong. It's wrong to criticize them and it's wrong to oppress them. Okay. Now, when it comes to what and who you are sexually attracted to, that is what or who you are sexually attracted to. That's what gets you fucking hard in your underwear. And that's what gets your cock wanting to spur cum everywhere. It ain't a fucking judgment. It doesn't mean you're a judgmental cunt. It just means that's what you're attracted to, yeah? It's what gets you fucking going. And there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not judgmental about it, and long as you're not nasty about it, as long as you're not a cunt about it, and as long as you don't put people down. If I had a pound for every nasty message I got from somebody because I didn't want to have sex with them, you know, I'd be a fucking wealthy guy. I really would. <laughs> and I share those people's pictures on social media now because I think it's wrong to be abusive and stuff like that. And really, you know, that no fat, no femme thing, they were probably just trying to get people's attention and then it worked because you've all got your Calvin Kinds and a twist over it, haven't you, you know? And that's silly. Um, you need to look at the bigger picture and look beyond all of this, you know? All of us, I'm sure, have specific things that attract us and another man, you know? Um, and that's okay. If that's what attracts you, that's what attracts you. Just don't be a judgmental bastard about it, you know? And, and that's all I'm going to say. And I'm not going to feel a cunt because I happen to like masculine, masculine orientated guys. I'm not going to be made to feel a cunt because I like guys who go to the gym and look after themselves and have and have muscly bodies. I'm not going to feel a cunt because of that. I know I wouldn't be compatible with somebody who just want to sit on the sofa all day and eat pizza. I wouldn't be compatible because I want to be out doing things, you know? It's as simple as that. People, you need to look at the bigger picture before they judge.